Now we're going to go over how to add a simple product into the dashboard. And this is very easy when you have simple products already in your inventory. So here we are going to go ahead and look at how we're going to add new simple products when we already have some in our inventory. So you hover over catalog, you click manage products, and you're going to find a product in the inventory that is similar to one that you're looking to add now. So the one that I'm going to add is just a simple product. It's uh, the third option for an LED floodlight here. So I'm going to go ahead and find the LED floodlight, the first and second option, since these are fairly similar. So here's the options that have already been done, and now I want to add a new one. So I'm going to click on the one that I want to create a similar product from, and then click Duplicate. And when you, can, when you click Duplicate, you can see that it has the same product information here, but it's missing the SKU, which is what differentiates it from the rest of the products. So we're going to go in and replace a lot of the information. So the first thing you're going to do is update the name. So the new product that I have is, um, it's only different because it has a different wattage. So we're going to change the name to reflect the product description. So I'm going to change this to 120 watt. And then I'm going to grab the, the only differences here for the description are um, the ordering number and the wattage. So let's go in and change that. Or at least we can just change the ordering number here. And we'll go over adding another product here after we do this one. So go ahead and make the change here as well to reflect the new ordering number. You also want to update the SKU, put that in there. And this one had a space before it, so it's a good idea to just remove that space. You wouldn't want to have that mess up your ordering number at all. Um, the weight, there's going to be a different weight for this than the others. So this one is 20 pounds. So we'll change this to 20. And this is an important one. It's, it automatically sets to disabled, and you want to change it to enabled. And then you're going to go here and update the URL key to match the new product name as well. So the other one was 63.4 watts. Uh, this one is 120 dash watt LED floodlight. You can leave the visibility as catalog and search because you want people to be able to find this product just by searching and looking in the catalog. The next thing that you're going to update is the prices. So the price of the old product was 300. The price of this new product is 492.80. So you come in and you update this to 492.80. Um, and then you're going to come down to images. And what you're going to do is it has an image already here. And you're going to click remove, browse files. You're going to find the image that corresponds with the product. And it's always a good idea to have the the image name, the file name, match the ordering number. So before you upload it, if you have the right ordering number as the, the file name, that's a good idea. And then you're going to click Upload Files. You're going to change this to number one, and then you're going to make the one that you just uploaded the default for base, small, and thumbnail. You can then go to Inventory. And most often, you're not going to have to make changes to this, but you just want to make sure that, that there's nothing wrong, like it's clicked yes and there's a limited number of inventory or anything. You're going to click Categories, and you're going to want to make sure that the proper categories are selected. So this is a floodlight, so we're just going to leave it as an LED floodlight. And if you wanted to change it, this is where you would do that. And let's see if that's everything. Yeah, that should be absolutely everything for adding a simple product. So you can click Save, or you can click Save and Continue Edit. And then if you're ready to add another one, um, you can click Duplicate from here. So 
we'll click duplicate and we'll add one more. And instead of just doing another, another option of the LED floodlight here, I'd like to go down and do uh, a high bay since we added that category in our how to add a category to Magento video. So first thing I'm going to do is go into my files and name the product the correct name. Name the image. So we're going to go into the images folder where it is. And this one is going to be named what the ordering number is. So the ordering number here, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to change the name of the product. This looks like the right one. So you're going to change the file name. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to change the name of the product to 158.6 watt LED high bay. So let's go here and change the name. 156, is that correct? 158.6 watt LED high bay. And then you're going to come back and copy the description here. So just copy here in the description, paste. Um, but I'd like to also add the ordering number. So I'm going to go ordering number, copy that again, add it in. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this description and replace this one. Now here we're going to add the SKU and the SKU is the same thing as the ordering number. So copy the SKU the ordering number, put it into the SKU section, and then you're going to change the weight. So the weight of this one is 26 pounds. Make sure you change the product to enabled. You update the URL key to match the name. Uh, 158. And anytime that there's a piece of punctuation, instead of having the dot or a space, you're going to put a hyphen in between. So 158, 6 watt, LED high bay. You're going to leave this as catalog and search. We want people to be able to see it. You're going to update the price. The price here is 766.15. So 766.15. You're going to go to images, click the remove tab, click browse files. You're going to look for the one that we have the right name for. Click upload change this to number one, then hit these for the defaults. Check the inventory, looks good, hit categories. Now we are going to change the category. It is an LED still, but it's no longer a flood or spotlight. It's a high bay. And click save. And the product is created. And so if you want to look now on the front end and see these products up and running, you can hit LED fixtures, and the first one we did was a flood and spotlight, so we'll go there. And you can see the one that we put in, the 100 and... Which one did we do? We did, yes, the 120 watt. So this is the one that we created. Open it up, and you can see the product here all put in. And the next thing you're going to do is check check out the second one we did, which was under high bay. And here it is. That's the, the second one we created. So that's adding simple products into the dashboard.